What's up, everybody? This is Aaron. Welcome back to the house. So I wanted to come on here very quickly and do a podcast because I know I'm a little late, but can we talk about the Royal Housewives of Beverly Hills and these reunion looks? Okay, the reunion looks have been revealed and honey, some of the ladies look gorgeous. Well, all of the ladies look gorgeous, um, but some of the fits I like and then some I don't. And y'all are going to get my perspective on who I think is the best and most importantly, the worst dress. Because, honey, Erica Jane, I'm sorry, but it's a whole no for me. Okay, it is a whole no for me. So let's start off with uh, Dorit Kimsley. Okay, Dorit Kimsley looks absolutely gorgeous. I love her hair. It's very understated. I have no idea what the theme of the reunion is. I know that there are a lot of plants and trees in the background. Um, maybe it was based off of Lisa Rinna's party or Kathy Hilton's house. I don't know. Okay. But I guess we will figure that out a little bit later. But Dorit looks absolutely beautiful. Her look is very understated, but she is still stunning nonetheless. She has on this high extended neck dress with a big long slit at the side. I absolutely love it. And Dorit pretty much kills it all the time, okay? Not to mention her makeup looks beautiful. Now, moving right along, let's go ahead and talk about Lisa Rinna. Lisa Rinna actually looks good, okay? I really, really do like this look. I'm not really sure what's going on with her hair. It looks like some sort of ponytail, uh, but it doesn't look bad. Her makeup actually looks good, okay? Her overblown lips really aren't getting on my nerves today. Uh, she, as well as Dorit, has like this extended turtleneck dress thing going on with the shoulder pads and whatnot. Um, it's like this velvety purple dress that she got going on. And y'all, I love it. Like, it looks really good on her. It fits her frame really nicely. And my favorite thing about Lisa Rinna's look is the fact that she has like the matching stockings under, okay, that kind of match the dress to make it look seamless. And so I think she looks really good, okay? And I'm actually gagging at the fact that I'm giving Lisa Renna this much because y'all know I can't stand this woman, okay? To me, she is the bully of the show, okay? The bully chief in charge. She is the wicked witch of the West Coast. So um, I'm just kind of gagging at the fact that I'm giving her all this, but whatever, okay? Moving right along, let's go to Miss Kyle Richards, who just so happens to be one of the fakest housewives on the show. Um, we know Dorit Kimsley went and did an interview talking about uh, Garcelle is the most inauthentic housewife when really it is Kyle Richards, okay? When are we gonna talk about that? When are we gonna get into some things? Anyways, Kyle's hair is beautiful. She's definitely giving me some 90s um, early 2000s hair, okay, giving me Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, pop star vibes. I think it's really cute. I don't really know what's going on with her makeup, but it looks basic, so we'll go ahead and move on. Her dress, like everybody else's, is very understated, but it is cute. I like the fact that she's giving us some boobs, okay, and some legs. So Kyle looks amazing, but she's definitely not in the running for best dress because it's just not enough going on. Now, moving right along, we have to go ahead and talk about y'all's fave, Miss Erica Jane, okay, a.k.a. the fraudster. Um, I was really disappointed because we all know that Dorit and Erica are like the fashion girls of the show, even in the seasons where they don't bring a lot of drama and they don't really have a storyline. It's still so exciting to see them come on camera because you know that they're going to give us a look, right? And um, Erica... Erica has kind of been clicking when it comes to the uh, reunion looks for a couple of years now. I feel like every time she comes to the reunion, she is extra understated. It's like she pulls it back. Now, with this baby pink dress, child, okay, the baby pink dress, it literally looks like she got this from Fashion Nova or Boohoo or something like that. Okay, some Instagram boutique, and I'm just a little bit confused because Erica is supposed to be a fashion girl. Now, I'm not saying that she looks bad, okay? She doesn't look bad at all. Of course, the hair is gorgeous. Um, the makeup is beautiful. The outfit is okay. A little bit fashion-ovy, but that's all right. You know, it's not bad, but it's just not giving 
what it was supposed to give. Now, I don't know if she finally took the advice of her lawyers and they told her to pull back her look. Um, maybe this might be a dress from Fashion Nova because she doesn't want to be seen wearing Gucci Louis Prada, uh, you know, because then Ronald Richards will try to take it away and, you know, pay the victims and whatnot. She don't want that. She don't want nobody taking away no money. So um, I'm just disappointed in Erica Jane as a whole. Moving right along, we have Miss Garcelle Bouvet, who is my favorite housewife, okay, on Beverly Hills. The first and only black housewife, honey. Um, I don't hate this look, but I don't love it either. Her hair is nice. Her makeup is fine. The dress, of course, is just okay. Like, it looks nice. We have the sequin, sparkly, you know, situation going on, which I think is nice. And then the silver shoes as well. I don't really have a lot to say for this, Okay. Um, you know, she definitely looks better than last season. I'll go ahead and give Garcelle that because Garcelle's look last season was kind of struggling a little bit. All of Garcelle's looks throughout uh, all of last season were struggling. And I'm just kind of happy that she has got with the program and she stepped it up just a little bit. So I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Then we have Crystal Minkoff, who, again, I feel the same way. It's not bad, but baby, you're definitely not a best dress contender. So Crystal's hair is nice and cute, but it looks like the same hair she's been rocking throughout the season. The makeup is nice and cute, but it's the same makeup she's been rocking throughout the season. Then you have the dress, which I feel like is cute, but um, it definitely does not flatter her shape. And I think the worst thing about this look are the shoes okay the shoes i'm just like no baby okay return them to your grandmother because it's not serving okay it's not serving especially when you're amongst fashion girls i'm gonna need crystal to step it up just a little bit more okay then we have kathy hilton um kathy hilton looks like a grandma but honestly i didn't expect anything else um, she's been dressing like a grandmother for the whole season, and so it's okay. She's definitely uh, coming through with the very expensive-looking jewelry, okay? And I apologize that I do not have designer names, and I don't know who they rocking. Um, but I can only judge from what the hell I'm looking at. And it looks like Kathy Hilton definitely went all out with the jewelry. So check her out. Then last but not least, we have everybody's fave, okay? Our savior for season whatever this is, Miss Sutton Strack. Sutton actually looks a lot better than I thought she was going to look, honestly, because Sutton, although she can dress and she's definitely into her labels and we know that she's been to the Met Gala and we know that she's friends with Dolce and Gabbana and this person and that person, Right. But where Sutton struggles um, is the flattery department, okay? She tends to wear clothes that just don't look good on her body type. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just how I see it, okay? That's how I view it. That's how I see it. I apologize. But a lot of the times, you know, she'd be walking into the room and it's just like, okay, cute fit, but... A lot of the times when she walks into the room, it's like, okay, son, cute fit, but maybe we should try a different silhouette. So um, with this reunion look, I actually do like it. I love her hair. Okay. It's very cute. It's very California with the beach waves and whatnot. We have the um, Aztec beaded earrings, which I really do enjoy. And um, this blue colored dress looks really good on her skin tone. So I do not hate Sutton's look. All right, you guys, so for best dress, okay, and this is my personal opinion, I think it belongs to Lisa Rinna, and I can't believe I'm giving the Wicked Witch of the West best dress, but I think she looks absolutely stunning, love the color, love the print, love how her legs match the dress, I think Lisa Rinna looks amazing, and then worst dress, you guys have probably guessed it by the title of this video, Erica Jane. Okay, I'm sorry, but return it to whatever fashion uh, Instagram boutique you got it from because, honey, this just isn't it. Okay, it's not it. The color's not it. 
The silhouette is not it. The design, nothing about it really is giving me what it needs to give. So I'm sorry, Erica, but not only do you need to return $20 million to the victims, but you need to return this dress stat. All right, y'all. So definitely let me know in the comments down below who you thought was best and worst dress. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I love you guys. And don't forget to create a great day.